Hi friends, this video will be useful most likely for motorists, as we will examine the extremely simple, low-cost and reliable circuit of the relay of turn signals. In general, the relay is of two types, electromechanical and solid. By the way, on the channel there was a very interesting video about the relay. I recommend it for viewing. The link will be found in the description. The most basic drawback of a conventional electromechanical relay is that contacts will burn and damage after some time. It is possible they are sticking to each other even if the relay is new. The presented circuit does not need additional tuning and will start working immediately after being connected to the circuit. It will be connected to the gap of positive wire of power supply, in other words, in series with the load. The circuit will work well literally forever, and it will cost much less than the ready version from the store. I also created a printed circuit board. The link will be in the description. If you assemble circuit on it, then you will not get any problems. But if home PCB technologies are no longer satisfactory or costly, you can always order quality and beautiful boards on the GLC PCB website. This is one of the leading factories in the market with many years of experience. The quality of products is guaranteed. GLCPCB will produce for you printed circuit boards of any complexity and size in unlimited quantities. There is free shipping for the first order. The link to GLCPCB can be found in the description under the video. How the circuit works? In fact, this is an asymmetric or unbalanced multivibrator slightly adjusted to work with the field effect transistors. At the initial time, capacitor C1 is charged through diode D1. Both transistors are closed. Through the resistor R3, an electrolytic capacitor is charged. After some time, the voltage on this capacitor gradually increases to a certain value. As soon as it is greater than the voltage of unlocking the transistor VT1, it will open. Through open transistor, the voltage will go to the gate of the field effect transistor. As a result, it will instantly work, commuting the load. Roughly speaking, the field effect transistor is a usual switch, which is controlled by a generator circuit on a low-power transistor. After switching, the right plate of the capacitor will be connected to the ground, the left one through the emitter junction of the first transistor to the pulse, that is, the capacitor charges in reverse polarity. Charging current of the capacitor will keep both transistors in saturation state. In this mode, the transistors are fully open and the efficiency of the circuit reaches its apogee. As the voltage on the capacitor rises, the charge current will drop and the transistors will exit the saturation mode. In this state, the switching transistors will heat up. Since the capacitor was charged with reverse polarity, positive voltage will be applied to the base of the transistor, which leads to a rapid lockup of the transistor, and then the field effect transistor also closes. All this time, a negligible current flew through the resistor R2, which had almost no effect on the processes. The response time of the transistor and hence of the flashing of the lamps depends on the C2, R2, R3 values. The larger the capacity of the resistance, the lower the flashing frequency and vice versa. Resistor R1 performs several functions, and among them ensuring reliable locking of the FET. Transistor of generator could be any with average power in the similarity of BD140. The choice of the field effect transistor depends on the power of the switched load. Perfectly fit transistors from PC motherboards, but I put the IRFZ44 as the most popular option. With such components, the circuit can commute loads with a power of up to 100 to 150 watts and the transistor will most likely need a small heatsink. At a power of about 50 watts, the radiator isn't necessary. If the load is small, for example an LED lamp, then instead of the FET can be used a bipolar transistor of reverse conductivity. The circuit will look like this. 
Just in case, I drew a printed circuit board, although everything can be assembled on a breadboard. A link to the board can be found in the description. Friends, this video has come to an end. If you have questions related to electronics, you can always ask them in our official group. A link to the project archive with the circuit and PCB, as well as link to ready-made relays of a similar type, can be found in the description under the video. Now, I say goodbye until your meetings. With you was Kaisian TV.